American actor Alec Baldwin was told a prop gun loaded with live rounds was safe to use. That's according to newly released court records. Baldwin said he's shocked and saddened after fatally shooting a crew member and wounding another on a film set. He described it as a tragic accident and says he's cooperating with police as they investigate. The death of cinematographer Helena Hutchins on this movie set in the U.S. has shocked the world. She was rushed to hospital after being shot in the chest by actor Alec Baldwin, who didn't know the prop gun was loaded with live rounds. Questions are being raised as to how such an incident was possible. Professionals in the prop industry say strict protocols may not have been followed. It is important that there are no live bullets. If you use live ammunition for training actors, you do it in a shooting range. But live ammunition has no place on a film set. US media is reporting that crew members on the set were complaining about poor safety conditions and long hours. Those workers play a vital role when it comes to prop gun usage. Actors have to remember their lines. They have to remember where to stand to be in focus. So it's really the job of the prop manager to make sure the actor is going to use the weapon in a very smooth way. And it's up to us to think about the safety, not the actor. Baldwin says he is heartbroken and he will fully cooperate with the police investigation. Hutchins was known as a rising star in the industry. Directors who worked with her said she was an incredible talent. I was, I was gutted. Um, pretty, I mean, pretty much just bro broke into tears right away. Um, it, I mean, she was so talented and so young and with a family, so. She grew up in the Soviet Union and holds Ukrainian citizenship. She leaves behind a husband and a nine-year-old son. Authorities say investigations are ongoing and that no charges have been filed. For more now, let's bring in Joey Dillon. He's a weapons advisor on Hollywood film sets and teaches actors gun handling. He joins us now from Fraser Park, California. Thanks for joining us. So from what we know so far about this accident, we don't really know that much at this point. What went wrong in your opinion? Well, first, I'm heartbroken. There's some artists out there that, I mean, it's a small community, and uh, I'm, I'm just crushed. It's the worst nightmare situation, and we're all reeling from this. I know there's still things coming out about it, so I, I hate to try to guess, uh, but I can only speak from my own experience. There's a lot of safety protocols when I'm armoring a movie set. Um, there are three ways a gun can kill somebody on a movie set. Uh, one is if you take a blank and you put it to your head, the uh, explosion, even though there's no projectile, it, it doesn't have anywhere to go. So if the gun's up to your head, it'll, it'll, it could kill you. Um, the other is if there's a foreign object in the barrel of the gun and the bore of the gun is not checked before loading a blank behind it, the blank will push the projectile out uh, in such a way that that could be deadly. And then the third way is, especially on Westerns, based on the type of guns that are used, uh, is putting a dummy round, which is a gun, uh, a, a bullet and the cartridge and everything that looks live but is not there's no gunpowder in it there's not a live primer to ignite the gunpowder and there's even generally a bb inside of the dummy round so you can shake it and hear that there's a bb in there and not only that when you put it in the gun you can shoot it towards the floor to display the fact that it is a fake round but um, if a live round was accidentally uh put in there thinking it was a dummy round then when you fire it it would obviously be deadly um it's it's just it's very difficult uh, to yeah. fathom how everybody's you know. But maybe you could explain the safety precautions just a little bit more for us. I mean, even if this wasn't a real gun in layman's terms, um, these are pretty dangerous objects. So, what do you do on a set sure. to make sure that this doesn't happen? Well, yeah, let me uh, let me explain. So. Most of the times the guns are real. We call them, you can call them a prop gun because they're used as a prop, but generally, especially when they're up close to camera and they have to look right, they're real. On a Western, you're using revolvers. So the difference being is that on a revolver, you see the cylinder move as you pull the hammer back. On a modern gun, the ammunition is hidden in the magazine. So in a revolver, the camera can tell 
if it's loaded or not. So in order to look loaded, you need to put what looks like authentic live ammunition in each of the holes of the cylinder because from the front you can see the lead bullets and from the side of the gun you can see the brass rims of the shell. So uh, on top of that on a Western you've got everybody walking around with a gun belt and there's bullets all the way around that that are supposed to be dummies as well. So you've got dummy bullets everywhere. On a modern movie it's very rare that you have a dummy round out on set uh, to, to see, but uh, the protocol w would be clearing the weapon with the first AD um, before it goes to an actor, and you can show that it's cold and empty when you give it to the actor or actress. Uh, you show them that it's cold, uh, which means empty. If it requires being seen on camera, you could put the dummy rounds in it, but before doing so, the first AD shakes them, and here's the BB. Then I put them in the gun, and then I shoot at the ground a bunch of times to show that nothing happened. Then I go show the actor or actress pointed at the ground. I go through all of them over and over to show nothing could happen. If it's right. being pointed at somebody else, go to that person. I show them that it cannot go off. And on top of that, you've got sometimes a safety advisor on set, but you've got myself. You've also got sometimes the stunt coordinators paying attention. Sometimes the fire safety officers, officers there. Sometimes the stunt coordinator is involved with that. On top of that, you've got producers that are being so mindful of the crew that's been hired. So a lot. a lot of a lot of safety precautions there, but something obviously went terribly wrong here. Joey Dillon in Hollywood, gun coach there. Thank you for talking to us. You're welcome.